Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Beckett by Hair Kitty Kitty. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this little wig by Hair Kitty Kitty. This is Beckett in color smoke show unrooted. There is no rooting in this wig. This is simply the color that the wig is. And honestly, although I do like my rooted wigs and I do prefer normally a rooted wig, I don't think this wig actually needs it. I think it's really, really, really pretty. And here is the part. This wig has a lace front and it has a monofilament part. The lace extends from here to here. So I actually have a little bit of my biological hair right here pulled out. And if you get something the color of your hair, you can do that. This wig is similar enough in color to my biological hair that it looks perfectly fine. So let me turn around again and let me let you all see this wig. I think this wig is simply beautiful. The fibers on this wig feel very, very soft and they're fine. So the wig doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like it's too much hair. It doesn't feel like that. The wig feels really, really good. Now, this particular wig is a wig that I actually won from Hair Kitty Kitty for something. I don't know what, I think they picked one of my posts randomly and to let me pick out any wig I wanted to. So I picked out Beckett because I had been wanting to take a look at Beckett and I wanted to, you know, see this smoke show unrooted and bring this to you all because I know you all do like to see white and silver wigs. I really love this wig. I think this wig is absolutely gorgeous. The color is nice. The, um, this looks almost like, I don't know if you would call this a balayage, but the colors, uh, the different colors and the different highlights in this wig really make this wig look really realistic. And I think the part is really pretty cool too. Um, I really like this. Now, what I will probably do, and I've been doing this to some of my wigs lately that have a monofilament part, is I've been putting a piece of scar tape on the inside, um, and that seems like it kind of hides um, my wig grip, because I normally wear a wig grip when I wear Hair Kitty Kitty wigs, because they are just a little bit large on me, so they should fit the average head just fine. So. Look at this. Let me get in here close so you can see this color. I think she is absolutely beautiful. This wig you could wear anywhere. I've actually been looking at this wig a little bit more online thinking I might get her in a different color now that I've seen the smoke show. Now your lace front, let me get in here so you all can see this lace front. Take a look at that is really, really nice. And like I say, it extends from here to here. And Beckett is going to be a side part. I love wigs that come right out of the box and ready to wear, and Beckett certainly was. I am not gonna have to do a single thing to this wig in order to make this wig wearable. It looks perfect, exactly like it is. So let's look on the inside and we'll see what she looks like on the cap. The Wigs Forever line from Hair Kitty Kitty is a step up from just their regular house brand. They usually have a lace front mono part and the fibers feel very, very fine, nice, and soft. So not that the others don't because they do too, but this wig is just a step up from the regular house brand wigs. And I'm telling you, I have been, I, this is the third one of the for, Wigs Forever line that I've gotten, and they are fantastic. I love them. So let's look at the inside of this thing. Let's take a look at the specs. Be right back. Okay, you all, so if you hear some background noise, they have decided they are going to leaf blow around here today, right as I started making this video, and I tried to wait till they kind of got down the street a little bit, but let's look at the inside of this wig so we can tell a little bit more about 
Beckett. There you can see the monofilament part and the lace front right there. Now, I did not trim the lace and I don't think that you're gonna have to because it's right there at the hairline, but it gives it a real nice natural hairline. The top is really comfortable as are all the Hair Kitty Kitty wigs. Um, it does have the bendable ear tabs, they are felted. And the back right here has got some felting around it and it's got the Velcro adjustable straps. So pretty much an open weft type of situation going on here. And here's the wig. Now I want you to look at the movement of this hair. Look how nice that is. Isn't that pretty? Movement on this is simply gorgeous. Now let's look at the specs on Beckett. Beckett comes in. Cocoa Swirl Rooted. It comes in Mermaid, Mermaid Kisses Rooted. It comes in Smoke Show Unrooted, which is what I've got. It comes in Prismatic Ebony Rooted, Moonlit Orchid Rooted, Strawberry Shake Rooted. That may be my next wig. Uh, Beach House Rooted and Aniston Foil Rooted. Look at this. I want to show you this one. Uh, look how pretty this is. That's the Aniston Foil Rooted. Isn't that a beautiful blonde? Now, I've got to say, I would love to see the Prismatic Ebony, but I'm just afraid that that color is gonna be really harsh on me. But this does come in a whole bunch of colors. So let's see if I can find the specs here. Specs. It is 100% hand-tied lace front and side part. Uh, generous average cap size. It will accommodate petite to average and average to large when adjusted. The fringe is nine inches, side 14 inches, nape is five inches. It's overall 14 inches and it weighs four ounces, which the four ounces is really good. It's not too heavy. This wig doesn't feel heavy at all on my head and it doesn't feel heavy on my hands. This wig has no permatease. When you have a wig with permatease, and, and look guys, y'all know I love permatease. I'm a permatease gal, pile it on. I look, I am from Dolly Parton country and I love permatease. But permatease does make a wig hotter and it makes it a little bit heavier. But this is just simply beautiful. Now let me put it back on and we'll just go from there. Now, this wig could actually be classified as a medical wig, and I really love the off-center part with the wig. I think that's just simply, simply beautiful. The part, you know, lands right here, which is right there even with my eyebrow. It's really a pretty, pretty wig. I, there's nothing to dislike about this wig. I have zero bad to say about this wig. I mean, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. So let me turn around again and let me let you see this wig. I honestly believe um, that the wigs from Hair Kitty Kitty, they really compare to other brands. They really do as far as the feel of the fibers, the wearability of them. If I had to say anything, but this is personal preference only, my head is just so tiny. <laughs> I mean, it is tiny that if the cap was a smidge smaller, it would fit me a little bit better and I wouldn't have to wear a wig grip. But I have to wear a wig grip on almost all of my wigs except Ellen Villa. I am so used to it that it really doesn't bother me anymore. But if you have an average head, I don't think you would have any trouble with one of these wigs accommodating you at all or in any way. This wig is gorgeous. It's just a fun wig. So you all tell me, what color would you like to see me? Um, maybe not this particular wig, but what color of wig would you like to see me review next? I normally don't do a lot of brunettes simply because I, I don't really look good in brunette wigs. They're a little dark and a little harsh but I'm actually wanting to do the Strawberry Shake. I'm really looking at that wig, and I just saw that, that that Vaughn has Strawberry Shake color, so I may get that one next, or I might, next, or I may get this in Strawberry Shake. I'm Since I sell Mary Kay, I feel like I need to have a wide range and variety of pink wigs because Mary Kay. So now if I can only get a pink Cadillac to go with that pink wig, girls, I'll be riding down the road in my pink Cadillac, crushed velvet seats, riding in the back or however that goes. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. I can't sing, but I do love that song. Anyway, back to the wig, which is why we're here. This, let me get in here close again so you all can see this. Let me give you a good side view of this wig. Both sides. What can I say, ladies? <laughs> I really love the wig. I think this gray is very, very flattering. It's very soft. It looks good. And if you are a younger lady and you're watching this channel and you wanted to go silver, I think this would be perfect too. This is what I call a young gray. What I call my gray hair is mousy gray. So it is actually the color of those little field mice that come in every now and then when the weather gets cold. That's the color of my hair. But this is not that. With all the highlights and all the different colors of strands of, of hair, um, this is just simply beautiful. Now, Beckett is a synthetic wig. So, um, Act accordingly if you're a human hair girl. You just know this is not human hair. This is a synthetic wig, which is my preference every day, all day long. Um, you give up a little bit of realism when you get a synthetic, but I don't think you give it up much at all on this because it's nice, it's soft, it's pretty. The color is just simply gorgeous. It looks like a good, healthy head of silver hair. I love this. And I love this color smoke show. I think this is maybe the third smoke, second or third smoke show color of wig that I have. I can't remember. My, <laughs> my hair kitty kitty wigs are starting to kind of blur together, ladies. But again, I have been very pleased with everything that I have looked at from this line. They've all been nice. The color, the fibers have been soft. Even when you get into the wigs that are less expensive than Beckett and you get out of the wigs for Everline and you start and you look at just strictly the house brands, those wigs are great too. The fibers feel soft. They've held up well. They've held up good when I've washed them. I mean, it's not been a problem. And, and listen, ladies, you know me and how I love to change everything up. And if I wear the same wig two or three days in a row or two or three times a week, you know I really, really like that wig. And I can tell you now, Beckett is gonna be one of those that I just reach for and grab and go because look at this. I mean, it's just beautiful. Look at the colors. I mean, this wig is just simply beautiful. And if you wanna zhuzh it up a little bit and poof it, you know, you can. I think you could do like a little bump of something right back here and just do your little sexy, do your little duck face for a picture. Now y'all know why I don't ever do a duck face. I look like an actual duck. So, but this, all kidding aside, this wig is gorgeous. It really and truly is. I had actually been looking for a wig that was very similar in color to my hair, but something a little bit longer that I could pull back or put up in an updo. And I believe I had found that with this Beckett. I have played and played and played around with her today and she's gonna be fun to do. So this is such a similar color to my hair color. I think that I could very easily you know, do something like that with this wig, and people might not, except for the length, actually know I have on a wig. So, not that that really bothers me, because <laughs> honestly, it doesn't, because if somebody asks me if you've got on a wig, I say, yes, I do. Here's a business card. <laughs> and um, there is a coupon code down in the description box if you want to take a look at any of the wigs on the Hair Kitty Kitty website. The coupon code is One Brave Woman, all one word in caps, and you can get 30% off of any of your purchases from Hair Kitty Kitty website. So I'll drop a link to all that down in the description box and y'all take a look at it when you get a chance. So listen guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. I love you guys. Maranatha folks. Bye-bye.